Hello viewers, welcome back to Drawing Stuff with Paul Yeisman. Today I am presenting a tutorial style drawing of two versions of Yoda, or at least whatever his species is, a juvenile and a decrepit. Yesterday I explored the character a little as we can see and I worked out the shapes and proportion of the Yoda or Grogu character. To speed things up for today's work I used a light box to trace out the forms twice in my sketch pad. So light boxes can be useful in speeding up workflows. Here you can see my rough tracing. Using a light pad to trace the initial design can be a good way to speed up your workflow and also to explore such things as line weights and colour schemes. Sketching wise, I start with Grogu who I have placed on the left and marked as a baby. Yoda is marked as an adult. I start with the mouth and nose and then add in detail using as much as possible smooth lines. I give Grogu large pupils as that is how it is portrayed. Smooth lines and large eyes help to give a character the look of a juvenile. With Grogu, you will see the drawing is relatively simple. Several large flowing lines are all that is needed. The same goes for most of the clothing. Keep it simple, keep it clean. Both of those techniques are used to add youthfulness. Once the main elements are added, I go back to the face and add some detail. Here it is important not to go overboard. Once I improve the hands a little, Grogu or Juvenile Yoda is sketched. On to sketching the aged Yoda. To show age to this character, I add a lot more lines and detail. The skull is also a dome to show brain development and the eye pupils are smaller. And I add also wrinkles and the jowls are larger. Rather than chopping off the drawing at the bottom of the hands like I did for the baby Yoda, I extend the form further down. This has the effect of making aged Yoda's head smaller in proportion to his body. And that's another way to show age as Young characters generally have bigger heads, at least if they're human or most terrestrial animals that we are familiar with. Interesting use of a ruler for the uh, lightsaber and once that's done it will be on to the line art. Here I recommend you start with a fine pen. I use my 0.1 fine liner to add the details before moving up through my 0.5 and my 0.8. You will notice I'm not concentrating on a particular character when I am doing the inking. This is for two reasons. The first being that I'm treating the image as one and the second one being that I can add simple lines to Grogu and go nuts with Yoda and riff off each other. With Baby Yoda, you'll notice that with keeping my lines smooth and simple and making them complex for the adult Yoda, uh, the adult Yoda has implied wear and tear and does age with compared to the younger one. So you can see Grogu looks quite chubby whereas adult Yoda is looking a bit worn out. And that's what we want. We can clearly see youth on the left and age on the right. Once I'm done with the initial line art, I add depth by using my 0.5 to highlight the elements that are on top of the other elements. And again, trying to keep my lines smooth with Grogu and a bit more haphazard with the old character. And if you were staying in focus, that would be lovely. I have increased the depth of field of my camera uh, to try to compensate for any autofocus issues, um, but I've still got to tweak that. I finish with the thickest fine liner and then add lines to bring out a lot more of adult Yoda than baby Yoda. Again, the added line weight gives more depth to the older character and again, Added depth implies age or wisdom. So once the six lines are added, I will move on to colouring in with Copic markers.
As I colour, I'll explain about my choices a little and how the colour I use informs the age of the character. By using greys on Adult Yoda, I give him an old and worn out look and I'll do that right after I colour in his lightsaber. So grey, green, uh, blue, I went with blue. By using greys on Adult Yoda, I give him an old worn out look. You'll observe I use colours a lot more on Baby Yoda. This is because the character is fresh and new. And because of that, the colour has not had time to fade or wash out. This contrasts to the 800 or so year old Yoda. He has seen a lot and is worn out and a little ratty and a little catty. Adult Yoda gets a sparing colour treatment. Using less colour allows the grey to dominate and also along with the increase in line art gives the character an older, more complex look. So both here I'm using a mixture of line weights and colours and colour application to inform the age of each character. To shade Baby Yoda, a darker green adds shadow and plumps him up. Being plump can imply youth on a healthy character. Adult Yoda gets three greens, again more complexity. The older the character. Though this may have nothing to do with age, your brain fills in the details based on past experiences. I added blue to the surfaces of Yoda that might be lit by his lightsaber and I didn't want to overpower that so I kept it with my lightest blue and made it as subtle as possible. And then I'm just adding in some extra shading, Yoda gets the sparse treatment again, Grogu gets the in-depth treatment. So it's simple and basic versus complex. Simple equals youth, complex equals age. And because I'm going complex with Yoda, I add scribbles as opposed to the flat colours. So that's Grogu pretty much done. And then what I'm doing with the lightsaber is going over with colourless blender to blur it out and then over the middle bit lots to desaturate the central bit of the lightsaber. And then as an afterthought, what I do is I go through and add some contrasting backgrounds. So it's supposed to be a really simple background behind Grogu and a more complex slash angular background behind Yoda. Again, to keep one character simple and one character more complex. Thumbs up time! So with the scan of the final work, you can clearly see which version of Yoda is young and which is old. The level of detail and colours used inform us of the character's age. So smooth, simple, youth. Complex, gritty, age. And what I've done there is shrink the baby Yoda down to the size he might be as a baby. And you can see that works really well. What do you think? Anywho, if you found this interesting, informative, entertaining, etc. Subscribe, like and share. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao!